Hi, my name is Mike Aylan and I'm the Chair of NAEP and producer of the YouTube videos on this site. So can I welcome you to the NAEP YouTube site and welcome you to the new academic year. Today's video is devoted to John Coe. John Coe was the co-founder of NAEP and John and a few others started NAEP over 40 years ago in 1980. Thought to be a good organisation to represent primary education and eventually became a charity. So this video is dedicated to an extraordinary man who passed away early this year and we mourn his passing. So as a testament to John's unswerving drive to promote primary education, we acknowledge his life's work in and out of NAEP by tracing his professional journey through this video. We hope you find it interesting and as John often said, Primary education is not just a transition to secondary education. In fact, he went on to say that primary education had its own methodology and understandings of how children learned. John's professional chronology displays clearly how he rose from being a teacher in a class to a head teacher in two schools and then inspector in the West Riding with the then famed Sir Alex Clegg. Now, I personally knew John as a senior primary advisor when I was a class teacher. His attention to detail in class teaching and displays was well known in the county. I well remember a class teacher I knew being very worried because not all her children's pictures in the class were double mounted, but of course it was much more than that. After gaining a master's at Bristol, he joined higher education in the task of teaching and administrating the next generation of primary school teachers. So this started off at the London Institute of Education, where he was appointed director of the PGCE course. The Institute is now part of University College London, UCL. He then went on to Oxford Brookes University in Oxford as a senior lecturer. John's whole philosophy regarding primary education was influenced by Christian Schiller, HMI. Christian taught him for a year at the London Institute, where he had started off a special advanced certificate or diploma for uh, leaders in primary schools. John helped put together a book of Christian's writings and sayings, which are still available from the NAEP office for £5. In fact, there's a separate video about Christian on this YouTube site, which, if you're interested in the history of education, you will find fascinating. Now, every year, NAEP actually holds a Christian Schiller lecture given by a leading educationalist in primary education. This next slide displays the details of the advanced diploma course at the Institute that John undertook while he was a head teacher in Essex. So as a result of his teaching in schools and taking the course, John became a prolific writer and lectured about the way teachers should approach their trade in class. John had the uncanny skill of starting his writing with, within the children's perspective and world, which then led to the implications this had for the teacher in planning and teaching. John had a regular slot for his writings in the junior education magazine, which was aimed at teachers. Not satisfied with this task, he then edited Nate's first publication called Childhood Journal, after a few years, is now called Primary First. This is still being published and posted to members each term. Next year, there will be a special edition of Primary First based on an archive of John's writing, followed by a book of his writings. The details of the book will be displayed on the website next year. John had the vision also to form a very important national group called the Primary Umbrella Group. This membership included associations and unions connected to primary education. This group still meets every term in London to hear speakers and exchange their news about their events and what they are doing within their associations. John encouraged NAEP's Festival of Voices. In fact, the Oxfordshire Festival of Voices is still running after nearly 40 years. 
The festival provided songs for school choirs to learn. The choirs then came together and sung with a band in a large hall. The parents and some local dignitaries then formed the audience. This was very successful for a number of years. John was great friends with Christopher Jarman when they worked in Oxfordshire. Christopher later became a writer and was naturally known for his teaching of handwriting. In fact, Christopher devised a scheme which he eventually gave to Nate to be the sole sellers and publisher. More details can be found on the website. John felt strongly that the NAEP National Conference should provide a platform for nationally known speakers on primary education. It was also an opportunity for teachers to gain up-to-date knowledge and skills through the workshops that the conferences provided. Every year, the NAEP Conference is still held for its members every spring. First and foremost, John felt that NAEP had a role in influencing to government policy affecting primary education. This meant organising the National Council and indeed the public to write and complete questionnaires uh, reacting to proposed legislation affecting primary schools. We do hope you enjoyed finding out a little about John's life's work and we encourage you to look out for the special edition of the Primary First Journal and the book in the new year. Thank you for listening and watching.